Hey guys, just a little reminder, for tonight you will need a chair. Something like this-ish. Don't have to be exactly the same height, but something similar. If you don't have a chair, it's okay. We can do some of the stuff on the ground, but um, chair will be good if you've got one. Hey, Tam, don't fall off your bar stool, chap. You might also want to put your chair on a mat to stop it from sliding if you've got slippy floors. If you're on a carpet, you'll be all right. So if you don't have a chair yet, go and get one. Oh, hey, Jess, how are you? So guys, if you've got your chair, let's get ready. I hope you guys had a lovely weekend. So we're gonna step one leg forward. Your wrists are over your, um, sorry, your shoulders are over your wrists. This front foot is flat. Keep that back leg locked out. And I want you to push your hips down. Head up, chest up. And then keep in the same position, but back off a little bit. Come back down again. And back off a little bit. Come back down again. Nice, let's switch and pay attention to which side feels a bit more glued up than the other. So this leg locked out, foot flat on the ground with the one that's coming front, head up, chest up, push your bum down and back. Bum down and back. Let's do one more on this side. And then you go back to whichever side felt the most Glued up or tight, I guess. What would I say? Hey, cat. Hey, Nikki. <clears throat> you. So if you don't have one already, grab a chair. I'm going to go back to this side because that was um, my side that was a bit, bit more glued up than the other. And just do a few more quick ones on that side. Remember to keep your arms straight, head up, chest up. Oh, beautiful. Lovely. Now, you can do this against a wall if you've got a chair without a back. If you've got a chair with a back, hold on to the back. Go about arms width um, up, push your bum out and let your head fall down. So your biceps are um, on either side of your ears. Keep your feet flat and maybe just go side to side with your bum. And again, you might find when you go to one way that that feels a bit tighter, doesn't feel as good. So you could do two to that side for every other side you do. Do a couple more. Nice, love you get. Let me turn it back. Okay, let's do some wrist rolls. Wrists together, squeeze them. Hard together as you can. Hey, Peter. All the way around. And all the way back. And hi, Nana Judy, if you're watching. And then give the old disco move. And then back the other way. Cool, shake them out. Ankles, as much force as you can. And Move them around, and then round the other way. Nice, let's go other side. All the way around, and then back the other way. Cool. Righty, oh, shake it all out. I reckon we're pretty good to go, hey? Oh, Tam, it's so awesome that you're dialing in from Darwin. What time is it even there now? Is it still the same day? I don't even know. Okay, radio, let's go. So, there's options to use the chair for most of the exercises tonight, but you don't have to. So, we've got one we've done before, calf raises on the chair. If you can, put one foot on the chair. Actually, I'll show you this way, one foot on the chair. This is just for balance. Don't put all of your weight on it and come up and down. Okay, we're going to alternate every, um, every five goes, I think. And then on the other side, up and down. Now, if you 
are using an incredibly high bar stool, which may or may not be true for you, Tap, you could just lift one leg up and just use the chair or whatever as a bit of a help. I have totally forgotten to get my timer. So uh, we're just going to do it in my head. So let's see how that goes. Yeah. So we've got the calf raises. Then we're going to do Spider-Man push-ups. So you've got options for this. You might want to do your push-ups elevated on a couch or on the chair that you've got. And you might just want to do push-ups. If you want to, you can lift one leg to the side and down, other leg to the side and down. Okay, that's another option. So normal elevated push-ups or lift your leg up to do Spider-Man push-ups. If you're absolutely mental and you feel like challenging yourself a bit, go the opposite way. Come down and up. Down and up. That is if you're truly mental. And then the last exercise, you can use your chair for this. If you have another object with a bit, bit of weight to it, like a small child, or a small dog, a cooperative small dog, you might want to use that. But we're going to do uh, chair rolls. So knees bent, bum out, back nice and flat, pull in, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Yep, now this, it's obviously not going to add heaps of muscle mass because we're not using a super heavy weight, but it's just so that you're your back doesn't get neglected and it still remembers what it's got to do when you do eventually get back to what you normally do. Hang on, I need to get my glamorous assist assistant to grab my tablet. Dan? Dan, should you grab my tablet? It's, it's in my room. Thanks. Okay, sorry about that. Right here. So, we're going to do calf raises on the chair, Spider-Man push-ups any way you want to do them and chair rows or a small child or a dog or if you've got dumbbells you are one lucky or you can use them okay so let's go we're gonna go randomly with the time in my head which hopefully will be something like 40 seconds work 15 seconds rest three times through we're gonna start with calf raises here we go so all the way up all the way down if you've got your foot on the chair you love that, right? Then try not to put your weight on it. Let's switch up sides, guys. Awesome. Do a couple more on the side. Remember, you can also put your hand. If your chair is a bit too high for you to put your leg on, you can also do your hand. Okay, little rest. And then we're going to go. Thank you, Hamish. We're going to go into our Spider Man push ups. Okay. Options, remember, you can do just elevated push-ups, you can do elevated Spider-Man push-ups, or if you're mental, you can pick your feet up and do them that way, okay? I might go a bit mental for the first one. Ready? Let's go. 40 seconds. Make sure before you come down that your hips are nice and stable. Elbow pits facing forward. Whew. Got another 10 seconds, guys. Three, two, one. Cool. Whew. 15 seconds rest. And then we're going to do some chair rows. Or small child. Or whatever you have to hand. It's up to you. Okay, we're going to go in 10 seconds. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go. So, knees bent. Bum out. Shoulder blades back. Into your tummy and out. It's like the chair or whatever object you're using is on a string from your belly button. And then it follows that string back out again. Yeah? The main thing is to squeeze your shoulder blades together. This is just to keep your muscle memory in your shoulder blades so that we don't lose it. It's really easy to do pushing exercises at home. It's not as easy to do pulling exercises. Another five seconds. 
three, two, one. Awesome. Right, you'll put down your chair or your small child or whatever object you were using. Hey, Giselle. I know, very pink today, aren't we? That's all right, though. I like a bit of pink. You know that. Okay. We're going to go again. I'll get my timer set. Starting session. We're going to go in eight seconds. We're back with the calf raises on the chair, yeah? So this is just to keep your balance. Don't put your weight all the way up on this leg. You're trying to keep your weight kind of over your hips. That's good, all the way up, all the way down. Remember, if your chair is too high to put your leg up on, hold on to it and just lift the other leg up. Okay, let's switch sides. All the way up, all the way down. Try and keep your ribs over your hips. It's nice, guys. We've got another 10 seconds to go. Not just the made up time in my head. Four, three, two, one. Awesome, how a rest. Now we've got Spider Man push ups. Remember, you can do regular elevated push ups on your couch or your chair. That's totally cool. If you want to add a little something, do them elevated but add the spider mat. And if you're mental, put your feet on the chair and do them that way. I'm not gonna do them that way this time. Elbow pits forward. You could also do these on the ground as well. Leg up to your elbow and down. You decide on your range of motion and you rest whenever you need. Good stuff guys, 10 seconds to go. Do really well. Probably. Yeah, nice. Whew, little rest. We're back with our chair rows. Oh, hey Lydia, have you just stopped in to say good day? How you doing mate? Okay, grab your chair or whatever other object you want to use. Knees bent, bum out, shoulder blades back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. You can make this more intense by holding for a second or so at the top and then come down. Hold for a second and down. Main thing is to keep your shoulder blades together and down. Whose kid has got a hold of their phone? I do love all the reactions though. Together. And down. Nice. You're doing really well, guys. You've got five seconds to go. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Woo, little rest. We're going back to calf raises. Remember, if you do one leg, just lift one leg up and hold on to your chair. Or you can rest it up here. But don't put too much weight down here. All the way up, all the way down. It's good stuff, guys. Nice and steady. I'll give you a hoy when it's time to change. Three, two, one. Let's change sides. Cool. So there's really not much weight on this leg on the chair. I can wiggle my me, me toes around if I need to. But of course, my big toes in contact with the surface. Two, one, and rest. Nice. Okay, we're back to Spider-Man push-ups. Any way you want to do them, or regular elevated push-ups. Or really anything you like. I can't see you, so you could just do whatever the hell you like. And it would um, be absolutely okay. Ready? Let's go. Don't leave your bum behind. Make sure it comes with you. It's good guys, keep it going. You've got 20 seconds left. Doing really well. Remember, rest when you need. The intensity is up to you. Five seconds to go. Set 
the chair rows coming up. Whew. Okay, knees bent. Come on. Shoulder blades together and back. So don't let your back arch. All the way out, all the way in. Squeeze your shoulder blades. This isn't meant to be super heavy. It's just meant to be keeping those muscles able to, to be in good shape so that when you do go back to what you were doing, they've not completely forgotten how to work. Which they wouldn't completely forget, but you know what I mean. 10 seconds. It's good stuff, guys. You're almost there. Have a rest. Have a rest. Have a drink of water. Good stuff. Phew. Okay. We're going to use the chair again for two of these exercises. First exercise, you can do this with your hands on the chair or you can do this with your feet on the chair. Hands on the chair will um, probably be about, about right. If you want to keep your form pretty good, so you're going to keep your arms nice and straight, plank on the chair and just lift one leg up, squeeze for a second and done. You can flip it if you want something more intense. Same idea, shoulders over your wrists, lift one leg up and down, one leg up and down, okay? So we're alternating legs, nice and slowly, keep your hips as stable as you can, don't let them swing out, they will want to swing out, but keep them stable. And then we're going to do something we've done uh, in the past, we're going to do one leg chair get up, so one leg flat on the ground, use your core, up you get, whoop! <laughs> And try to come down without falling down like I did there. And then we're going to alternate up and slowly down. Alternate feet. Don't use your momentum. If you use your momentum, you'll fly into your TV or whatever else is in front of you. And then the last thing we're going to do is forward lunges. But we're going to rotate from the hips to the side where the legs come out. Rotate. Okay, you can do whatever you like with your arms, you don't have to make it like a robot. If you want um, to up the intensity, you can do plyometric lunges. If you do them, don't worry about the rotation, but pay attention to your balance. Up to you. Okay, let's do it. So the first one is chair plank. You can do with your feet up on the chair or your hands up on the chair. I'm going to start with my hands up on the chair. Shoulders over your wrists, nice straight line. Lift one leg up, hold it for a second or two, and then slowly come down. Squeeze your bum when you come up with that leg. It's good, guys. Up and down. Nice straight line. If you feel you're kind of falling back, stop. Reset yourself, shoulders over your wrists. Doing really well. Four seconds to go. Nice. Okay, have a seat. But not for long. We're gonna do our one leg get ups. So nice and tall. Yep, straight spine. One foot's flat on the floor, the other leg's up. Push off that leg. Try and get your balance and then slowly come down. Up and slowly down. You go at your own pace. We're alternating each time. Don't use your momentum. Use your muscles. Up and down. Do whatever you like with your hands to help you balance. That's good. We've got 10 seconds to go. Whoop. Come down as slowly as you can, unlike me on that last one. And rest. Okay, forward lunges with a twist, unless you want to do plyometric lunges. If you want to do plyometric lunges, 
go for it, but make sure you've got your balance and that your big toe and your foot is planted on the ground before you spring off again, okay? If you do lunges with a twist, twist to the side of the leg that's come out. Feet hip width apart all the time. And twist. Unless, of course, the twist doesn't feel good. In which case, don't do the twist. Just do the lunge. You come down as far as you like. You're over halfway now. That's good. Big toe on the ground. Keep that hip width apart distance. Almost there. And done. Okay. One round down, one to go. Let's go back to chair planks. Ooh. Remember, you can do them with your hands on the chair or your feet on the chair. Feet on the chair is your mental. Okay. When you lift your leg up, squeeze your glutes. Hold it at the top for a second or two, and then slowly come down. So like ninja, stealth ninja. Come down really slowly onto the mat or the floor or whatever is beneath you. You've only got 10 seconds left. Check your shoulders or over your wrists. Three, two, one. Nice. Okay, one leg get up. So have a seat for a little bit. Decide which leg's gonna come off the floor first. Use your thigh muscles. Let's go. Up. And then slowly down. Up. Slowly down. Try not to fall in your arse on the floor if you miss the chair. Up. And down. Keep nice and tall. Long, tall spine, eh? That's good, guys. We're almost there. Ten seconds to go. Plant that big toe. Nice! Little rest. Forward lunges with a twist. Unless you want to do plyometric lunges. In which case, you're mad, but go for it. Okay, feet hip with the pot. Let's go. You, how far you come down is up to you. And then if it feels okay, take a twist. If it doesn't feel okay, don't take that twist. Ribs over your hips. Nice. Looking good, guys. Looking good. Keep that hip width. Yeah, if you're falling over, check the width that you've got in between your feet. 10 seconds. Almost there. You go at your own pace. You rest when you need. Nice. Okay. We've got one more set to go. I might try the chair plank leg lifts with my feet on there for a bit. See how that goes. Remember, you can do them with your hands. Lift up and up. I'm going to see if I can string a few of these together. Whoa. Nice and steady, guys. Up nice and slow, whichever way you're doing it. My bum is probably a bit high there, nobody told me. You got 10 seconds left. Almost there. Three, two, one. Ah. Awesome. Oh, one leg get ups. We rest. Phew. We're going to go in five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Plant your foot. Slowly up you come. All the way back down again. Try and land as lightly as you can on the chair. Good. Up and slowly down. Good 
Good stuff, guys. You're looking good. That's good. Nice. One more, one more, one more. Boom. Okay, forward lunges with a twist or plyo lunges if you're a maniac. Feet hip width apart. Nice and tall. Three, two, one, let's go. Take a step to the side. Back. Step to the side and back. That's good. Step to the side. To the side. Awesome. You come down as far as you like in your lunges. And if the rotation doesn't feel good, don't do it. 10 seconds to go. It's nice. Three, two, one. Hey, beautiful. Have a little rest. Have some water. We have got two exercises to do. And we're going to do three rounds of these two exercises. 30 seconds work with a 10 second change over time. But you go at your own pace. Oh, hey, Polly. And um, you won't need your chair for this. You might need your mat, but you'll also need a bit of space without the mat for you to use on the floor. So the first exercise is something we did um, Last week, when we were doing stuff with our, with our back, the floor pool, yeah? So, lie on the floor, grippy fingertips, you can use your feet if you need to help you, pull yourself forward, and then let yourself slide back. Pull yourself forward, let yourself slide back. If you're not comfortable being on the ground like that, then what I'd like you to do is... Pull your shoulder blades down and up. Shoulder blades down and up. So we're keeping our shoulders healthy, making sure our scapula keep the movement, okay? And then the next one, lie on the ground on your back. Tilt your pelvis so your back is as flat as yours will go. Everybody's will vary, but as flat as yours. So you can't get your hand all the way through to the other side. Options. If you like, lift your head and your arms up. If your neck doesn't like that, keep your head on the ground. And then from here, you can lift one leg up and you might want to alternate legs. Or you can go two legs. Rest when you need. But promise me that you must keep your back as flat as you can. If your back arches, you stop, reset, go again when you're ready, okay? So we're gonna start with four pulls. Remember, if you don't want to do floor pulls, you're doing scapula down and up. Scapula down and up. But if you're doing floor pulls, let's go! Man, I can't believe how hard these are. I'm going to blame my floor. for you and you've got to concentrate and keep your back as flat as you can if your back arches reset start again eight seconds to go you're doing really well keep breathing by the way if you stop breathing don't do that three two one and rest Whew. 10 seconds then we're back to floor pools Remember, if you don't want to do these, do your standing scapular movements. Grippy fingertips and pull. 
and push. Grip your fingertips, move all your shoulder blades together. And grip, grip, grip. God, these are killer, eh? 10 seconds. Five seconds to go. And rest. Whew, flip over onto your back. We're going to do the hollow holes again. You know what I'm going to say. Tilt your pelvis, flatten your back. You could do one leg at a time and alternate. You can do two legs. You can have your head on the ground. If your back arches, you stop and you reset and you stop whenever you like. We've got 10 seconds to go, but you stop whenever you like. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. We're coming back for the floor pulls. Three, two, one. Let's go. Nice, didn't it? Hey. feels good for you. Keep breathing. That's really important. 10 seconds to go. Doing really well guys. You can do it. Five seconds. Come on. Unless your back's hurting, in which case stop. Two, one, and done. Oh my god. Last two there. Pull your knees into your chest and have a little roll. Roll around. Good work, champs. Good work. Happy pop. And let's do one of your faves. So from the side, looks like this knee bent, bum out. Stretch your fingers out. Don't interlock them, but stretch them out. And kind of back to back. And then paint the walls. Chest up, head up. Hey. And then back again. Push them out. Paint the walls, head up, chest up, palms up. Let's do one more of these. Push out, dot, 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 dot. Paint the walls, head up, chest up, and then let everything flop. Have a flip flop on the ground, near the ground. Couple of deep breaths. Well done. That was deceptive. Some deceptive moves in there. Who wrote that? Oh, it was me. Thanks for coming. If you're watching this on the replay, thanks for watching the replay. Um, yeah, see you uh, if you've got kids and you've got nothing to do at 9 a.m. tomorrow. See you here for kids. If not, I'll see you on Wednesday. Lots of love from my living room to yours. Thanks, guys. See you later.